In no particular order, Rayaf Ali, Nishan Rahim, Christopher Romain, Devon Adonis, Anish Suku, Vikash Mervs, Samir Ali, Ryan Griffith, Richard Ali, Rajin Ramnat, Pradeem Ali. Ready? Nice. The All Star Youths. Let's just call out the name, ladies and gentlemen. Sashe Salmon, Kerry Gonzalez, Rajan Kanai, Jacob Lerod, Christopher Jagmohan, Linus George, Bernard Saman, Kevin Solomon, Permanent Nandu, Vidat Singh, and yours truly, Roald Burke. Nobody can do it like Mr. Burke. Eh? We see Mr. Roald Burke, the MC in his orange or pinkish sneakers tonight. Yeah, and you have some fans books. Star Youth has won the toss and decided to take full strike. So it runs on the board. It runs on the board. Scoreboard pressure. And Kerry, you just have a word quickly. You want the toss and decide to take full strike. What kind of total are you looking at? Well, you only button going to be looking for 65 70. All right. Well, uh, best of luck. Raf, I know you start off the first game it was a little shaky and you bounced back and had a big victory in your last game. You're bowling first tonight. Um, what kind of figure are you looking at keeping your position? About 60 for the most. Right, like both already the same figure in mind, so this should be a close game. Best of luck. So you're ready to go. and uh, we're getting ready to start the second game here tonight. First game was won by Young Guns. Oh, first game was won by New Chapter. We have All Star Youths versus Digital Corset. What I'm told, uh, uh, Jeffrey, if Jesus uh, the, the, the stars won the toss and decided to bat, something like that. Yes, they won the toss and decided to bat. Take first strike. And uh, you see the two openers going out there. I haven't gotten their names as yet, but they are out. They also let me say thanks to Adrian for substituting, did a fine job. 
I have to wash myself. Really. <laughs> well done, Adri. Talk to me a minute. <laughs> the start of uh, the second match here. Uh, as Griffith uh, coming from the community center in. And, uh, as he gets ready and turns and comes in left-handed, we try to Batsman try a reverse sweep and he picks up a four. Yep. And uh, the All Star Youth is up and running. As Griffith comes in, very short run. So one runs into his toes and goes down to third man and pick up a leg by. The end of the first over, Jeffrey. Five, and after the first over, the youths five for no wicket. After over number one, Coming from the coconut tree end, Vikas Moons. And let's see what Moons have in store for the batsman. This one down the leg side comes off his legs and they pick up a leg by signal there by the empire. With that leg by, it takes the score into six. And we are in over number seven. If it comes in, and they pick up a single there. <laughs> As Moons comes in, this one is a sevens. Yeah. Come on. That's a sevens. Come on. Come on. Him, yes, and he's brilliantly caught by the man down there at the long on position. So that's the fall of the first wicket. They all start use uh, 14 for one. Then over number two.
Yes, and we are back here at the forward recreation ground. New batsman Kerry Gonzalez. As Moons comes in, this one he drives down to long off. And they pick up a single. That would take the score into 16. 15, rather. As Moons comes in. This one, he could do nothing about it, but just push it to the one of the cover fees men, and that's the end of over number two. And at the end of over number two, the score 15 for one. So, uh, Griffith will continue from the community center end. As Griffith comes to uh, that one, busy batsman outside the off, some true to the keeper. Yeah, uh, strong breeze blowing here as the left-handed Cooper comes in. Shot boy. Brilliant shot there. <laughs> and that's four runs. Beautiful shot, Jeffrey. Kind of shot you, 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 would, you wouldn't mind paying your money, come back out and pay your money and go back in. Yeah. As the left-handed Griffith. That four it took it took the score to 19. This one he drives again. And he pick up a single. And the breeze has subsided a bit here. It was very heavy two balls ago. It comes back here again as Griffith comes in wrong the wicket him. He swings across the line. Doesn't make contact, but it comes off his legs. A leg by going to be signaled by the umpire. There it goes. And uh, with that leg by, he takes his score to 21. And over number three. As Griffith comes in once more. Oh, shot. Beautiful on drive. To the man at long on here. Who comes in and keeps it down to one. And uh, the total goes on by one. To 22, is it? At the end of over number three. Yep. Twenty-two for one after three. Uh, a bit um. Conversation between the two batsmen in the middle. They have finally going back to their respective creases. And um, bowler number three, Riaf Ali. And he will be coming from the coconut tree and outside the off stump. The batsman tries to back drive it past the vacant extra cover position that didn't succeed and shoot to the keeper. Because of that, they have sent another man down on the cover point boundary. Beautiful shot. And a good field by the man down there, the extra cover boundary. But they were able to pick up two. And I think a shot like that deserves four. But I can't give him four. I'm not the Empire. As Ali comes in. Oh, what a that. That's a brilliant stop. That's a brilliant stop saving our sevens. Jeffrey, would you say so? Yeah. 
Yes, brilliant piece of feeling there by the man of the extra cover boundary. Saving himself, his team rather, six runs. Because that was a, certainly a, a sevens. Ali comes in, cannons into his pass, they try to take a run, but it's not on. 25 for one, and we're in over number four. And Ravi comes in, this one, he's hit. And that's a sevens. That's a sevens, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, a sevens. And I take this opportunity to say good night to you all and do enjoy the rest of the night. I hope that this match will be a much better one than the first. And that one outside your stump. And that's the end of the over. So, so at the end of the fourth over, the score is 32 for one. Okay. And the bowler coming from the community center end, Simar Ali. Let's see what Mr. Mr. Ali have up his sleeve here. As Ali comes in, that's a wide, definitely. Yep, wide signal there by. Looks like my, 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 look like my, my, looks like my. Empire Bogos on this end. Yeah. Okay. As Ali comes in again, outside your stump, wide wide signal there by the Empire again. So he, Ali has started off with two wides. So he hasn't bowled a legitimate ball as yet, I don't think. As he comes in. This one, beautiful drive down there. That should run away from four, Jeffrey. Yes, it does. Beautiful back drive there. Beautiful shot. Going down to the long off boundary. Wide long off. And with that four, it carries his score on to 30, 38. Yep. 38 for one as Ali gets ready and runs in and bowls. This one, clip him straight to the man. No, it's through him. It's through the man at mid wicket, and that has gone for a four. Yes. Let's see what the Empire says there. What the Empire says. What says Empire Bogos? Four, it's got to be four runs. Because all along the ground, as Ali comes in. This one, it beats the man, a third man, and, and that's another four. So uh, the score is really moving on here, so to speak. As it's going on to 46, Jeffrey, am I seeing right? 46 for one, we're in over number five. As Ali comes in. This one looks like, a, looks, he's, looks like he's going to be out. Yes, come for leap. Come for the uh, hey, hey, took his time and made sure he, he was right over with hands ready waiting to take the catch and he made it look very simple, very easy. That's the fall of the second wicket. Forty-six for two. We're in over number five. 
न्यू बासमान जेकब लाबोर्ड अली कब्जिन टू लाबोर्ड लेट्स सी व्हाट्स दैट दैट्स ऑफ फोर सो वी डैट फोर टेक्स इस कॉल ऑन टू फिफ्टी आई आई बिलीव फिफ्टी फॉर टू यस अली इस टिल बोलिंग Let's see what he does with this one. Short run, one, two, three. Batsman drives outside the off stump, misses, and through to the keeper, and that's the end of Ali's over. Eight. Bit expensive. And the score after five overs, fifty. The All Stars youth. We have Suku coming from the coconut tree end. And, uh, it is going 50 for two. And we are now in over number six. The starting of over number six. So we have a. Deep cover point on the boundary, backward point. He's now going into the circle. We have an extra cover on the boundary. And we had a, a mid off, wide, wideish mid off, and a long off. There's a call there for run. He could be out. Nope. Good run there by the pair. Uh, leg by signal there by the umpire. Suku gets ready again. As he comes in, this one the batsman a slow ball. You can see that the batsman swung, but he swung too early. But when he finished with the shot, the ball now arrived. So there's nothing he could have done about that. This one down the leg side must be a wide. White signal there by the umpire. My, my, my. And Suku comes in again. He swings. Should be, should be a wide. Yes, white signal there by the ump. He can score until fifty-three. And Suku comes in again. This one he swings and misses. True to the keeper. That ball in the scorebook. And Suku turns and comes in again. He swings again and misses. Uh, would you believe it? Good going here by Suku. The batsman doesn't seem to have too much of timing. He's swinging a bit too early. This one he swings again and misses. Yep. I think I'm um, so cool of him. You know, he did, he give me the impression he don't know which way is up. As uh, so cool comes in, uh, he swings again. As he fought straight time, he swings and miss. My. So uh, over that probably should have had at least two sevens. Yep. Turn out to a, 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 a single or a couple of singles. The latest score here at the Forward Recreation Gong. 53 for 2 and 6. So we got a 7th and last over coming up. And it will be coming from the community centre end.
the bowler En Rahim Nishan Rahim and he will be coming from the community center in a bit of shuffling around of the field here trying to get it right we have a long off and we have a long on right in front of us here we have two men in the circle on the onside straightest mid wicket and a Square leg, uh, they drive straight down the ground. The man from on the long on, long on position runs around, picks up and throws back to the bowler and they pick up a single. With that run, it carries his score on to 55. 54, sorry about that. And uh, another adjustment to the field. Uh, the man at long on goes to Mid wicket and the man at mid wicket moves from mid wicket to a normal mid on inside the circle. Yes. And this one looks like a sevens. Yeah, that's a sevens, all right. That's a sevens there. Rahim gets ready and comes in and bows. Batsman flash outside the house. Time. There's an appeal for court behind. Well, the batsman is walking, which is something you don't really see at this level of cricket, and that's very nice of him. Very sportsmanlike. You remind me of myself. When you edge, and you know you edge, head to the pavilion. So with the fall of that wicket, the third wicket will score 61 for three, and we are in over. Yeah. Number seven, which is the last and final over. So they'll probably try to get another couple of sevens to get to 80, 80 odd. Yes, and we are back here at the park. The recreation ground. New batsman Solomon as Rahim comes in. He swings and misses through to the keeper. Dot ball in the scorebook. As Rahim comes in again. This one, he, he could be caught. Hard luck. Really, really good. Tr brilliant try by the Fiesman and they pick up a Pick up two. And with that two, it takes the score along to 63. And we are in the last over. Last of the seven, seven overs. And Rahim comes in. And he swings. Let's see this catch. Oh, brilliant. Well taken. Well taken. Well judged and well taken. That's the end of the All Star Youth innings. Digital calls it will have the chase 64 for victory. Yep. Digital calls it will have to say chase 64 for victory. Everybody 
Well, I say good night to Empire Bogus. How is it tonight, sir? All right, good night, we'll have a early night tonight. Yes, yeah, so well, that's good. Can't pop down, can't flop. That's why they wanna shut me up. So we tell them, don't pop down, don't pop down, don't pop down. Just keep running in the way. Don't pop down, don't pop down, don't pop down. Just keep timing in the way. Batsmen are going out. So try and get this. Trying to get his 64 runs to win, so he should be off and ready in about a minute. 
couple of minutes time Um, and we have opening the bowl in there for no, the no, 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 no. Not, not book opening the bowl in? No, oh, okay. Ah, see? You're still talking about that? So, who's the bowler starting there? Okay. okay. Salmon. Okay. And we have uh, getting ready to start from the community center in Salmon. Uh, S. Salmon. Uh, Ali, which Ali is this one? Coming into Riaf Ali, the captain of the um, Causa team. And uh, we are just about ready. This one, yeah. Salmon comes in again. This one uh, goes right there to the man at a, mid, a short mid off position or widest extra cover. And Salmon comes in. He swings and misses. No signal from the Empire. Salmon comes in, again he swings, looks like a leg by, goes down to the fine leg who picks up, throws in, yep, leg by, signal by the umpire. That takes the score on to eight after a big sevens there by Ali. Salmon comes in, bowls, this one the batsman swings and misses. Okay, and, um, and Sam, right. Salmon comes in to Roshad Ali, swings a reverse sweep and misses again. And that's the end of over number one. And at the end of over number one, eight for no wicket. Chase I don't chill, chill. Chase M64 for victory. Again. And if she wants to, she can just bring a friend. When she give it to me, I'm a kill up, kill up like a murderer. I, I, now what's the plan now? Wind it to your gem now. Girl, I'm just saying now. Give me, give me yeah now. Oh, you a fan now. Tell them how I ran down. So tell your friends how I made you say, ooh, damn wow. Hey, hey, hey. Tell them me ready to get to the again. And if she wants to, she can just bring a friend. When she give it to me, I'm a kill up, kill up like a murderer. I, I, I like it. Coconut 
Tree and Christopher Jack Mahon. So yeah, the new bowler coming on, Christopher Jack Mahon from the Coconut Tree end. Let's see what uh, Jacques Mohan will be able to do with the Ali brothers here. As you get ready. Jack Mahon, one, two, as in bows. <laughs> That's gone. <laughs> that sounds very really distorted. There's been a case again, man. Sparkles at us. Watch this now. The 15, this one, wide signal by the umpire. So not a, so not a very good start here by Jack Mahon as he comes in. This one, he swings him down to square leg. There's a man right there. They only pick up one. And, uh, for that one, it takes the score under 17. Better adjustment to the field here. As Jock Mohan comes in, this one they look to take a very quick single, well taken, well judged. And with that single, it carries his score on to 18. We're in over number two. Jock Mohan comes in. Batsman has a sweep. Uh, doesn't collect and they pick up a leg, a, a bye. Leg bye, yes. Here we have Mr. Book right here at a short uh, point position as Jock Mohan comes in. And this one looks like a sevens. That's another sevens there. That's one that be expensive. Sevens it takes us going to 26. Without lost. Backward square is going back on the boundary here. Yes, and um, as Jock Mahon comes in, swings and misses. And that's the end of the over.
Check, check, check. As Labord comes in, the batsman swings through the, to the keeper, and the score remains at 26. Swings down the leg side. Looks like a no ball signal by the Empire there. Board comes in again. So one played on the offside and they pick up a single. Well, that single carries the score on to 27, Jeffrey. 28, sorry. Uh, 36 more to get for victory. As Laborde comes in from the community center end, tries a, a reverse sweep, nothing doing. True to the keeper, who doesn't collect cleanly, but there's no run taken. As Laborde comes in, this one canners into his legs and out here to the square leg. They pick up a single leg by, I'm sure. There's a signal coming up from the Empire there. One leg by. As Laborde comes in again. This one, is, oh, it goes through him. Only course is the team one. Watch this! Oh man! At the end of the over, the score. You want to come first? Yes. City. Big No wicket. Chasing 64 for victory. Over number four. Theater for Ido. Agglin' sweet up. And watch the rider. Up front up here and stuck till them clay. No one's on roses. Can keep your pride. Chat no hurt you, sip on them slide <laughs> Tough things are going now, you bony find it Here is the lash of coat and them if you walk wide All fruit side from make a girl criticize Cause you rule, you want to come first Big it, big it, better than it's reverse You rule, you want to come first Yeah, better adjustment here to the field placing We have a fine leg We have a mid wicket on the boundary Change. Scoreboard, please change the over. Fort, correct. A salmon comes in and he swings him around. And as four runs, says the Empire. So that four. Takes this corner 34. Hey! There's a fine leg and there's also a square leg. Uh, they are now calling the fine leg. He's in the circle. Saving one. A salmon comes in and bowls. And the batsman swings down to the man at midwicket who picks up cleanly. Doesn't. Not a very good throw. And, um, but it didn't cost any more runs and they pick up a single uh, another bit of adjusting to the feel here
this one he swings down to the man at square leg who picks up uh, one single Salmon comes in, up and he bowls, Batsman swings it and it comes down here to the man at a fine leg position who runs in and pick up and uh, one more run to the score. And with that one more run it carries the score on to 37 for no wicket. So the batting side shouldn't have too much of a problem to get the 64 runs. They haven't lost a wicket as yet. And they, they should be home and dry. This one down the leg side should be a leg by. Salmon comes in again here. In and he bowls. This one he swings him around. But I only think he's only going to get one. Or oh, the man is well placed down there at backward square. And that's the end of the over. 39. 39. Dancing! That's the score 39. God knows. You got to move on the red. <laughs> yeah, gonna. I want you dance and be in the fine again. I want the street and the lane and road the bend. So tonight for no in five, is it? Do by the dumb bit of the man. We need another one. Twenty-five runs. Two overs. Jeffrey Wyatt and Kuya Money is on. And I leave more roses fine and use them. Brand new dance, I worry of a man. I kill all of them roses fine and use them. So who is the bowler? Who is the name of the bowler? The changes and exchanges here going on on the field. As can I get new bowler? Can I get ready? Coming in from the commentary center end. Can I comes in? And this one he swings him around and they pick up a single. And with that single, he takes this going to. Uh, no, not I could have sworn that they, they take a single. It's not all right down deep on the fence. Scala gets ready. Uh, still set in field, can I? Not too. <laughs> yeah, about four or five captains out there. Yeah, there goes Kanai again. He's shifting the man down at a uh, backward square for him to come square as he comes in. Swings him down to the backward square position. He picks up a run. Hello, hello. As Connor gets ready. Because he has changed to a right arm around. Batsman swings around. They look for a short single. It's, yeah, they get it. 
Yeah. <laughs> so they pick up another single. As we say good night to the people that came out to see the matches tonight. Hope you reach home safe after the games. Hoping to see you here again tomorrow. As Kanai goes back to around the wicket here to the left hander. The wicket keeper misses and wide signal and uh, four runs by four wise by signal by the Empire. Four plus one. And that's uh, would be five wides. That will take the score into 46. So they need another 18 more to get for victory. Kanai comes in, he swings and misses, true to the keeper. A bit of obscene language there by the guys with little children around, it doesn't look good. It doesn't sound good, it doesn't look good. As Kanai comes in, the batsman swings again and misses, but they'll pick up a, a run here, if not two. Now, and they just pick up one, and that's the end of the over, and at the end of the over, Jeffrey. Coming from the coconut tree and Bernard Salmon. Salmon comes in down the leg side. Wide signal by the Empire there. Salmon comes again. A good sweep shot there, but it's straight to the Fiesman, but they pick up a run. That one takes take this going to 49. 15 to get. 15 to get in this over. The one. Fifteen to go. Samad comes in. Swings them around and they pick up another single leg by. Yes, leg by his signal there by the umpire. Someone comes in and he swings. No runs, uh, that ball goes into the scorebook. And Samad, about two steps. As he comes, one, two, balls. And uh, the keeper doesn't collect clean here and he goes on to the man at a fine line and another wide, wide signal again. So, 
have anyone who won the, the go, that uh, extra wide will carry this going to 52. Samad gets res, ready again here. Yeah. Just about two steps. One, two, and bowls. This one hits him down to the man down there at long on. And they could only get one. Samad comes in, and this one is swings in. Pick up a, a single here, and that's the end of the sixth over. One more ball still to go. Okay, uh, Jeffrey was right when he said one more ball to go. I think even the, field, the fields men thought it was over. So it's one more ball to go. Let's hope it is, it's not costly for the feeling team. Samad comes in. Yes. Well, there it goes. A seven. I think that seven would, would put, put them in trouble, Jeffrey. And they scored 62, 61, just three to get in the last over. Yep. Instead of having 10 to go, they have just 3 runs to win here instead of having 10 in the last over. That's right, 61 after 6, so just 3 runs to win in the last over. Yep, for no wickets, you have a right, yep. So, the Digicel calls it Terry Gonzalez, new bowler. New bowler Terry Gonzalez and Kerry Gonzalez, and he'll be coming from the community center end. As Gonzalez moves in and bowl, swings and misses through to the keeper. No signal from the umpire, so that's ball number one gone into the scorebook. As Gonzalez comes in again, this could be a wide this time, let's see. Or oh, he picks up an edge onto the bat, so they pick up one. So two more to go, Jeffrey. And we can all go home and have a nice cold shower. Or a, or a warm shower. Your choice, Jeffrey. You go down with the cold? Okay. Just don't get the cold, that's all. As we have just two more to go. Two more runs to get, and... Um, as... Comes in and he's bowled him. Would you believe it? He has bowled him. So anything could happen here, Jeff. You never know. But if he is telling us, he doesn't win the match. We just party hard, party hard, party hard, yeah! You know we drink all day, dance all night We don't stop playing, but that's alright We jamming in stereo, 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 oh Yeah, we out all day, and go all night Come on, press play, and feel alright We rockin' in stereo, stereo, stereo <laughs> Listen, y'all, yeah. Tuesday on the rocks, rocks, rocks mm, Which one of them I go to go? Yes, and we are back here at the Four Roads Recreation Ground with just two runs to get. By the cause, it's 11. 
Batsman Devon Odonis. Adonis, and uh, let's see what Mr. Adonis will do here. Yeah, and that looks like game set and match. Yep, that's it. Game set and match, uh, it's all over. That's it, thanks to the suspected. Thanks for coming out tonight. I hope you all did enjoy the two matches that you saw. And we are back here again tomorrow night. Um, REI Kukorit Ball Giants versus Last Minute and Baba Shop versus Saganda. So don't forget the two matches on tomorrow. Area Kukorit Ball Giants and Last Minute and Baba Shop versus Sanga Ganga. Thanks for coming out. See you all tomorrow. Reach home safe, everybody. And we are, we'll be back here tomorrow about 6.30. So have a nice night and reach home safely. God bless. Bye.